What is going on everybody? How you guys doing? Welcome back. Welcome back to yet again, another episode. Today, as you guys probably saw by the title, we are fishing the great Lake Nipissing yet again. Our goal today is to catch some walleyes. I have a set line just kind of set up over there. Um, yeah, I'll be jigging in the shack as well. And yeah, I'm getting a kind of late start to the day. It's already one o'clock in the afternoon, which isn't ideal, but um, I think we're gonna do all right. I'm gonna really focus in on the evening bite. And um, no, yeah, I'm gonna explain a bit more on my setup in the shack. I already got it set up. So uh, let's head on in there. Well, everybody, we have officially set up at our spot here. Um, pretty much, guys, I'm gonna be jigging in the shack in about 23 feet of water. I found like a nice little, like almost like hump where it comes up from 29 to 23, then it goes back down to like 27. So I don't know, I might've found something good. I have a set line just set up um, like a little bit past this wall of the shack here. And um, that's got a jig and a minnow on it. And then I'm actually also jigging a jig and a minnow in the shack. Got the heater on, got all my stuff. And here, I don't know, I think it's going to be a pretty good uh, pretty good afternoon. I'm getting a late start, like I was saying, but that's all right. We're out here. We're going to catch some fish, I hope. And, uh, yeah. First mark in the shack, guys. First mark. Stole my minnow. So I'm dropping back down. Got the camera on now. Hopefully he got the taste of minnow and likes it, and he's going to want to come back. Come on, buddy. Freaking got it, guys. Freaking got it. Really nice walleye. Woohoo! Look at this fish, guys. There's actually another one down there. So instead of getting the big camera out for this fish, which isn't really even that big, we're just going to send it back and get right back down there. First fish of the day, guys, in the shack. First fish of the day in general. Beautiful walleye. Minnow in his mouth. Send him on home. 23 feet. We have no issues with barrel trauma, which is awesome. I love that. And, um,. Yeah, we're a little tangled in the slush here, but there is a fish down there, so I gotta be quick. Got to be quick. Gotta grab another minnow from the bag. And uh, let's see if that other one wants to eat. Talking on the phone. Fish just hit the set line. <sighs> Dropped it. Fish came back, guys. The fish came back. You saw me lose it there when I ran over. Reset the rod, got the minnow back down, and as I was leaving, it came back and snapped on it. This feels like another walleye, guys. Walleye number two of the day, and it's off. Oh, no. Oh. Right at the hole, we lost that guy. That is frustrating. But it's also okay. <laughs> you can't win them all. I'm gonna drop it back down. I doubt that fish is gonna be coming back. But it's an awesome sign anyways. Shows there's aggressive fish in the area. Just made it back to the shack and there's a mark. You gotta be kidding. He grabbed it. He grabbed the tail or something on the minnow. Felt that. Got him. Got him. Fish on, guys. Just made it back to the shack. After losing that fish. Outside. This one feels pretty big. Yep. Not big by any means, but... It's a nice walleye. There we go, guys. Fish numero two of the video. A nice chunky monkey walleye. Maybe these fish are moving through now because, um, oh, there's no way he just rehooked himself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he almost rehooked himself. Um, no, yeah, but we just literally like a second ago made it back into the shack. I noticed there's a mark all over my middle in the shack. So I'm like, oh, geez. Started jigging, flipped on the camera, and boom, that's another fish. Okay. I also uh, grabbed a larger minnow just to uh, jig in the shack with because, I don't know, smaller minnows are good, but why not use a larger minnow as well? Fish. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Fish off. Shoot. Fish off. Still got my minnow. There's like two fish down here, though. Not too long after that walleye we just caught, a couple fish just rolled right through. Here we go. He sees my minnow, I think. There's two fish. I think they're both walleyes. Got him. Got him. Hopefully I got a good hook set into this one. This feels really nice. Not long at all after. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? He's like swimming in my shack. <laughs> Not long at all after we caught that most recent walleye. 
Here's another one. I think this is our number three of the day. I can't hold a walleye for the life of me. Oh my goodness. Okay, dude, I just kind of want you out of my shack at this point. Yeah, that's fish number three of the day. Yeah, that's fish number three because we lost that one at the hole. But um, anyways, okay. That was a pretty nifty little school of fish they came through. That was two fish together that were hungry. So yeah, I'm happy we enticed one of them to eat. Just gonna rehook this minnow. Make sure it's hooked well so we don't lose it. There we go. And let's drop back down. Maybe there's more, maybe there's not. Awesome. Okay, guys. That was kind of, that was eventful. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. We're getting pretty close to prime time too. Fish on bottom, guys. Fish on bottom. Just released that walleye we just caught. Here it comes, here it comes. Holy smokes. Got it. Wow. Wow, we have a flurry of action right now. Just released that walleye we just caught. And we have another one. Oh, another nice one, too. Wow. Holy smokes. Look at that. That's, yep, yeah, number four of the day now. I'll take my minnow back, too, sir, if you don't mind giving it back. There we go. Wow. Well, like I was saying, there was two fish down there. I think we might have just caught both. I could be incorrect. That could have been a new fish that came through. But I, I doubt it. I think that was... The same, the same brother, I guess, <laughs> or sister of the one that we just caught. Here we go. This mark here, guys, looks absolutely huge. So aggressive. Oh my gosh. Hit it. Hit it. Just hit it. Don't kiss it. Hit it. Come on. Here it comes again, guys. Here it comes. Whoa, whoa. Had a mood change. Super aggressive all of a sudden. Yep. Mood just changed. Nice fish, too. My line's cut on the ice. It's right at the hole. Nice walleye, yeah! Oh, man. Here we go. Calm down. Walleyes are, like, impossible to hold. I don't know if you guys find that. Okay. Got them unpinned. Here we go, guys. Another beautiful nipissing walleye here. Oh, now he's calming down and posing. Wow. I was marking that fish for about 40 seconds. Um, it's about, literally, about five minutes after the last pot of two we caught. And, um, yeah, that fish was, like, super sluggish at first. Didn't want to eat. And then, I don't know, his mood just changed. And he crushed it. I mean, crushed it. It's so funny, I find, how, like, fish, especially, you know, like, I notice this a lot with walleyes and crappie. Their mood can just change on a dime. You do something that they like, and they'll just crush it. They have, I don't know, they are just, they are just crazy. Just made it back from checking on my set line. And there's two marks down here. There's a big and a small one. Got it. Oh my gosh, no. Missed it, guys. Shoot. Got it. Got it. Drop right back down with a new minnow, and we got it. We got it. I don't know if it's the bigger mark or the smaller mark. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's probably our best wall of the day. Holy cow. Calm down, bud. Calm down. Oh, for sure that's our best wall of the day. I don't really feel like getting the bump board out, but it's probably... I don't know. Oh, get the rod of the heater there. You know what? Actually, I'm going to get the bump board out and the big camera for this fish. This is a nice one for sure. We don't even have time. We don't have time to get the big camera out. Because there's another mark down there. Got it. Fish on. you got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. Another fish, guys. As we're releasing that one, we have another walleye, I think, on. We didn't have time to get the bump board out. Oh, he just came off at the hole. I watched him. I got hooked on the ice. That wasn't that big. But, well, sorry, guys. I've been... Trying to get the big camera or even the bump board out for you just to see how big these fish are to get a better look at them, but the activity right now is just not allowing that. Like that was so funny. I was releasing that walleye down the hole whilst I was getting hit. Oh my gosh. Monster mark. Got it. Oh missed it. Come on, go down, bud. Go down, lure.
Come on, back up, buddy. Come on, back up. Got it. Got it, guys. Fish on. Another walleye. Oh, this one feels okay. Oh, wow. Check out that guy right there. This is a big camera worthy fish. There we go, guys. Another walleye. There is more fish on the bottom. Wow, this guy is pinned. Holy cow. There we go. There's more fish on the bottom, but had to give you guys a look here because this is one of our nicer ones. Very plump, very fat. Wow. I don't even know what to say, guys. This is just absolutely absurd. Gonna hook a minnow back on. One. You do two minnows. They're the mini ones. I don't have the big ones. They're outside. Let's drop it back down. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Another walleye coming right up to our minnow. Commit. Commit. Come on. Wow, we have them up in like 20 feet. Don't go back down. Here we go. Fish on. Got him, guys. Another one. Don't even know what number this is. We've had such a flurry of fish. And that's got to be our smallest we've caught. Look at this little guy right here. See you later, pal. There's a little bit more fish down there, guys. I don't even know what to say right now. Okay. Got to rehook these minnows. Guys, literally just drop back down. Another one. Oh, he's in the deucer. Shoot. Unwrap yourself, buddy. There we go. Wow. All right, guys. Don't know what the last update was. You probably just saw me catch the most recent fish. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty dark now. The lighting is like pretty bad in the shack. But um, I'm going to try to open the door for the rest of the night just to allow some better light in. Check out this beautiful golden walleye right here. Oh my goodness. Just crushed the minnow. Um, I don't even know what number this is. This is the most insane walleye action I've ever had. Just going to send him on home. There's no marks on the screen at the moment, but I'm going to put on some more minnows, drop back down. We're in like the heart of prime time right now. Walleyes are snapping. This is awesome. Three marks down here, guys. There's literally three walleyes down here. Four. There's four separate, like, lines. Got one. Got one. Hooked up, guys. Oh, pop loose. Shoot. Okay, that's fine. There's still fish down there, though. That one did not feel big by any means, so I'm not really going to whine about it anyways. Wow, though. Okay, I'm back down bottom. Yep. Got him. Got it. This one does not feel too bad. Hope we don't lose him. Okay, stay away from the heater, buddy. <laughs> stay away from the heater. There we go, guys. That's probably our smallest of the day, actually. And there is still more down there. Okay. As you could probably tell, it's very dark at this point in the day, but... It's fine, there's still fish to be caught clearly another fish many other fish whoa whoa got him fish on another one another one don't wrap up in the deucer buddy just stay clear of that whoa that's a nice one okay all right there's two fish pretty much in a row nice golden walleye there and there's still more on the bottom oh my goodness this is insanity. Wow. Everything, all the cameras are dead, guys, except my iPhone. And there's still fish down here. Fish on. This one's got some pretty good head shakes, too. Ooh. Nope, get off the ice, buddy. Whoa, ho, ho, that's a nice walleye. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, I'm going to get this guy unpinned here. Look at this walleye, guys. It's like pitch dark right now. The only thing you could really see is the gold of this beautiful fish. And, uh, oh, horrible release on me. There we go. Guys, that fish is going to be the last fish you see in this crazy action-packed walleye fishing video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I want to be quick because I don't want my phone to die too. So, uh, yeah, craziest day of walleye fishing I've ever had. Don't even know what to say. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in. I will see you on the next one.